That's a. What happened to Soul Boy? That's it. Right <laughs> Did you see it? It's gonna be a great game. What's going on guys? I uh... <laughs> oh fuck. Alright. So... I um... My boy recommended me this game on Steam. Uh, I love you Colonel Sanders. It's a finger licking good dating simulator if you want to wear. Um, I'm gonna have my boy Zach in the, uh, I'm gonna be talking to him. We're gonna be conversing about finger looking good dating simulator. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Morning sun cast <laughs> the chicken and biscuits on the, the window screen. of your modest student apartment. Are we gonna be voice acting? Yeah, we can, we yeah. can. We'll, we'll, we'll voice act different characters. A sweet girl. Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she gets so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Uh, pep talk, of course. I think we talk about the sexy senpai, Col Col Colonel Sanders. We can't. We can't change the. We can't. Okay. Pep talk or change the subject. We gotta do the same thing. I think we change the subject. Change okay, it. We, we can change it. It's hard it's to hard see to... Miriam like this, and frankly, quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to do something more interesting. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at Colonial... a school. Colonial <laughs> five. <laughs> yeah, it's a little worrisome, but you'll do fine. Now, what about this mystery student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Oh, get this. I heard his it's name not Colonel is Sanders. Erwin. And he's no ordinary student. Maybe it's he's got a 12-inch cock. <laughs> you, okay. This is yours. <laughs> it said that. You couldn't see it. Oh, yeah, sorry. That was just, uh, that was just somewhere. <laughs> they, you they, clicked they, too fast. They say he has powers. He's had them since he was first born. From an egg. Colonel Sanders! L an egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. But the thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. It's definitely Colonel Sanders. Yeah, it's gotta be Colonel Sanders. You both I'm sigh, keep thinking about a dreamy... A, a thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Or you can get another word out. You're brutally interrupted when someone smacked your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Hey! Oh, it's, that was you, sorry. Hey! It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you know she can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can't get anything she wants and she knows it. What a bitch. Hello, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking bitch, god damn. <laughs> Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend. Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at the reflection in the mirror. Is that you said? I think so. <laughs> you just like walk by a mirror and get distracted. You, yeah, have no. to you have to flex in each mirror you walk past for five it, minutes. That's in the, in the gym, that's completely accurate. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles. Dude, is this me? Holy shit. <laughs> No lie, they're rocking they're rocking. <laughs> he just kicked out his butt. Dude, what the fuck? Ahem. <clears throat> Van Van? You so you're Ashley? Am I gonna be Van Van? You can be Van Van. Oh. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, rang rang. <laughs> it's just fucking. Oh shit. <laughs> you said. You gotta make one of the girls your one voice. Okay. Which oh th which one? Oh hello. Like that one? I like pickles. Oh, I can't, I can't do that one. Oopsie. Uh. <laughs> I think it's broken. Is it just me? Or is he kind of cute? Is Holy this, shit. Do we need, he's Nathan. Do we need Nathan to play her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think it's definitely just you. 
You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. I never thought about that. Out of nowhere, the wind begins to rush Here around you as you just a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm so t I'm chitty! <laughs> Someone close the door! <laughs> and then, oh. he walks in. Oh, oh my gosh. God. You're immediately yes. swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. <laughs> you, who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. Seth, was that an instant erection? It was. It was. <laughs> this is X. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Colonel Sanders. A hushed, a hushed murmur of rolls through the class. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. This is Zach. And this over here must be Sweetie Sweatsoaz. Sweaty. Sweaty Sweatsoaz. <laughs> Maybe we should open that window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and everyone evaporates entirely. You freeze up. The colonel's talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you? About how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. He's this can't be your first kiss. interaction. I caught it. I caught it. Put it in my pocket for later. What if he forgets this moment? How will you respond? Of course you take the handkerchief, he's being polite. Yeah. You stretch, you stretch out your hand, and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has, it has his natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. <laughs> Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a great, had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet, bitch. <laughs> Casual looking ass. No name NPC looking yeah. bitch. Wait, class is bad enough. But interrupting my monologue, you're on That's a fast a track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? This didn't happen like 10 seconds ago by the sexiest student I've ever seen. Yeah, but... But your plain looking ass ain't about to get away with it. Don't you... Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school. With you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Oh, bitch. We're, we gotta sit next to Colonel Sanders, right? Of course, like yeah. unless we want to go, like, can we fuck the best friend? Because yeah. then maybe. Then I'll go. I might do that. I mean, Colonel Sanders is quite sexy, though. Okay. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect uptight posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. The Colonel unprepared. Thanks for offering me this. Seat. He's got. He's just got like six magnum condoms. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> just in case. He's he he's prepared. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Damn, that's a little quick. Yeah, yeah, quiz about me! <laughs> <laughs> I think we found the best uh, line in the game. The perfect voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I would've loved to hear that voice act. <laughs> Then again, who could have put a better voice than what you just let's, did? Let's be honest, that's probably how he sounds. You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know oh, we just we're met. Impressing. But I have to confess, madame, <laughs> I think you have a beautiful brain. Hi! He's hot saying diggity, all the right six, words. Senpai. You just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is this about lunch? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... 
Howdy folks, I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Lunch, lunch, lunch. <laughs> she said shh. In honor of the new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smell. Indeed. As I look like I'm ready to take that smell. <laughs> you hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented. Were the rumors true? Is this... Colonel Sanders lifts a large <laughs> bucket up of his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy, golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, "Stop thinking and start eating." For years, as I have if been just, as, as if to say, like this game is just gonna make you wanna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> for years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than eleven herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. I started going Australian towards the end. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What? Oh, wait, what? Was, what? You, th you think we want your stupid recipe? What was my voice for him again? You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. <laughs> Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> Alone with your taste buds. Gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim to uh, the I'm debating between the bottom two. I think the middle one. I'm done. I'm okay with that. Okay. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful. Pure. Heavenly. What a guy! <laughs> <laughs> Alone with the flavors, you feel something that only can be described as love. For a man? <coughs> for a flavor? Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. It's understandable. He cooks would... so good that you don't give up that ass? Yeah, yeah. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smires, sm smires, smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> My semen. Oh, he's sweating. Ha ha ha. How bold of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Where'd he get that staff from? He it just, just pulled it out of his ass. He just summoned it. <laughs> He pulled it out of his ass. It's just you and me here talking. I think I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've only got two more whole days to get to know each other. We've got two whole... <laughs> we, we've got two more whole days to get <laughs> to know each other? What? Three days? What? He's clearly not going to give it up three easy. three days. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both way to make sure you're truly alone, and then, and then you can feel his warm breath as he whispers, Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use my semen. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Because <laughs> <laughs> she used her semen. What, Mom? <laughs> semen? Wow. You'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure. <laughs> you did something you searched. <laughs> That's why it's so salty. <laughs> you step into the massive cooking area where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. 
Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. Are they gonna have like some Shokugeki no Soma battles? Wait a second. Oh no. We have to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature. Or, yeah, with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Cough, cough, and some dick. <laughs> Just try to drop Welcome, it. Welcome, <laughs> students, the, to the cooking arena. You gotta do it. You gotta find a good dog voice. I know, I'm trying. Uh, For today's lesson. Uh, just do like a. Nah. For today's lesson, be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pay off. Me and Colonel. Oh. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you. But I feel like I feel kind of bad. But un unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. <laughs> you just mount him to establish dominance. <laughs> hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. Want to be my partner? I think you can play this game a few times and have different outcomes. Yeah. Sure, Six and Pie. I'll prepare our station. Without his apartment. <laughs> Miriam's left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new oh. partner! <laughs> I feel like Miriam's gonna beat our ass. Beep, boop, <laughs> Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. Looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price <laughs> you pay for not being alone forever. God damn. I think we picked the robot. Yeah. Who do you want to ask to be married? I think, but I can, my pop voice is fuck. Either yeah, one, either one. Let's let's do pop just because right. that voice is funnier. Yeah. Sorry, Clank, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Pop today. Do Clank's a real one though? Watch or... them beat our ass. Watch them like cook yeah. so much better than us. Pop Watch gives pop a big. Be, like, <laughs> He's just Watch... that's Colonel Sanders. Watch pop just be the best cook out yeah. of all of us. Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same <laughs> station as Miriam. I'm a chef. <laughs> The best so far. <laughs> oh, fuck. He holds up a banana <laughs> and without feeling <laughs> it's the whole thing. It's oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Oh man. Okay, I chose the right voice for him for sure. <laughs> it's this gets hurting, but Miriam is too kind to accurate Bob just fucking down some bananas. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't even fight it. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just pushes it down his throat. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm, Pop. <laughs> she looks at you with, uh, like, really? This kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. <laughs> it's just fucking... Oh, Sanders' heart is my business, and you'd better keep your fingers off of my man. Someone call for me? Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so random. Uh, no. Jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Reyes Grimry's dreams, you're supposed to be talking, taking care of our classwork. That was the deal. That Remember? guy is literally me. Jesus Christ. Colonel Sanders returned. Literally... Arms full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there. Ashley, Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Rhea's Grammary was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentors. Van Van looks like he just sharded. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up onto my level. Ha! <laughs> Doubt it. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The result looks spectacular. Granny would be proud. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately <laughs> let go. <laughs> the two of you stand on like the same sport, and for that small moment, all, man all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. 
Ban Ban rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. <laughs> and Josh is just got a battle axe. He just decapitated somebody. Yeah, Pathetic. In just a few minutes, I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. Palted on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. <laughs> they were fucking orcs. You've ignored me for too long. That ends now. It is I who will have the first bite. And you'll look upon it with envy. Wow, you just got... Really... The interrupting student rushes at Ban Ban and so he has a fucking battle axe, dude. And swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. He's about to get murdered. Yeah, Ban no, Ban no. Ban's about to crush his skull, dude. Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. Uh, I uh, think I left something in the oven. I don't... I don't feel good. Start. It killed him? <laughs> oh. I love how he just put a sheet <laughs> over him. He's got a ghost mask on. So Everyone step funny. back. Don't take another bite. <laughs> <laughs> when you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped up in Pop's mouth. Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> Tastes like poison! <laughs> <laughs> the entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are motionless as statues, or they are as motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment, snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite the obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. <laughs> what? Like, for real? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> the ghost just has the, has the Napoleon Dynamite voice. <laughs> you follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Sanders stands in front of the quads, neon glow, and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. <clears throat> Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. He's tearing up. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to, to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? Yes, thick senpai. There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there. Gosh, we got cop blocked. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. Jeez. You see, when I was a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since I've been working towards that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, also lifting a lot of weights. Like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts. That our souls may grant them. Like wishes floating on a shooting star. Ooh. Hey, no, I, you. Shut up. I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting about, are we forgetting that your cookie li cooking literally killed the guy? You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw that you killed the guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. The s <laughs> I'm the spork monster. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you threaten me just as I was letting down my guard in connecting with another chef on an emotional level. It's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? Attack. Of course. 
I think we defend. I already uh, No, we always defend. Cook would again. love. Cook would love does one damage. It just got real. That attack really upset Sport Monster. Sport Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. Take one damage. Fuck. I think we just keep attacking. Right? Uh, I, maybe defend is like the best thing we can do. Maybe right, we'll he'll defend, just come we'll in and like once. one shot the thing. You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Tree depredation? Or trepidation? You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. Seemed like a pretty weird strategy, but okay, sure. You do. See, I told you attack. <laughs> Alright. Spork monster focuses their mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? We gotta attack him. Yeah. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love again. No quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They attack once again. Ult. Utilitensile. Two damage. Fuck. We, gotta, we just gotta attack. Cook with love. Uninjured sport monster spews stream spews steam into the night. Forgetting mercy, mercy finished him. Or do we spare the wretched beast? I think Colonel Sanders would want to spare the wretched beast. Yeah. We spare this wretched beast. You manage to tramp down your scuffs at the sight of this gnarly beast long enough to realize that he is still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Be gone, beast. Don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. That's very specific. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back, like you said. Okay. Port monster scuttles off into the night. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. Book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, enjoy watching this video. Uh, this has been a pretty eventful day. I mean, we saw we saw many things. We met our boy Pop. We saw Colonel Sanders take down a monster, as he should. We got a magical book of chicken spells. It's great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I have links to or i have a link to my twitch channel down in the description uh, go check that out and uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode peace